And we're back. Okay, so Spider-Man has just punched the Kuthmer into the face. Uh, Zach Noy, it is your turn. You are surrounded by Drow, who are suddenly alarmed and trying to start drawing their weapons. What are you going to do? Okay, uh, I'm going to use one of my spells. Okay. Acid Splash. Okay. Who are you going to cast it on? Um... Oh. Okay. Give me a moment. Oh no. What? Oh no. What? The caster is flanked from four sides. Uh, yeah, but he also won initiative, so... Whew. No, that's not good. I mean, it all depends on how big of a dick I want to be. Ooh. I, I'm not... I'm, I'm going to forego an attack of opportunity. Okay, actually, that's the other thing, too. It's like, to be fair, this square right here, like, that's a five-foot square. So technically, they're, like, at opposite ends of the corner. They have to move to attack. Uh, so, okay, okay. Yeah, so it's like yeah, so he he he's he's not threatening an attack of opportunity right now. You are, you're right next to this thing, as am I. <laughs> so um But like, okay. Um so you cast your spell, do you how much damage do you deal? Do I have to bust out the answer? Um, uh, oh he has to uh, he has to make a ranged uh spell touch attack. Okay. Uh make a range touch attack. What? It, it's a ranged touch attack. So what you're going to do is you're going to roll twenty. You're going to add your um, your play, your characters in fifth edition or is it in three point five. Three point five. Um. So it's going to be his spell uh, ability mod, and then it's going it, um, to determine hit, and then it's going to uh, bypass his armor ba uh, bonus from his armor class. Okay. So when you factor in whether or not his roll hits, um, just it, it ignores armor. It ignores armor. Okay. Um. So on his AC, it's um, it's not flat footed. It's yeah, just, it's going to go yeah, against his touch they, AC. Yeah, they have listings for the touch AC. So yeah, I can see the touch AC. All right. So yeah, basically, just um, roll your range attack for this. Okay. But instead of using your dex, use your uh, uh, charisma because you're a sorcerer. Okay. Okay, so spell. yeah, treat it like a charisma check. So you're going to be... Um, yeah, let me take a look. Yeah, you're going to have a plus... You're going to have a plus four as opposed to a plus one. So. Okay, so... I'm, ro I'm rolling the range attack and my charismas as well? Um, that's what... Okay. You are right. not using your dexterity. Yeah, so you're since you're not your charisma in place of your dexterity. So instead of, instead of rolling instead of having a plus seven to your attack, you're gonna have a plus ten. So basically, roll <laughs> d twenty and plus ten. I got a rolled a two. Okay, that's a twelve. That's actually good enough to hit. So yeah. roll one. Okay. Mm. One. One damage? Nah. I rolled a natural one. On For what? On a one die three? Oh. For damage? Apparently, yes. Okay, well that doesn't that just means you deal one damage plus whatever modifiers go towards the spell. Uh <laughs> there do not appear to be. It's just it's just one die three acid. Okay. So uh, you okay, so he does one acid damage. Okay, so you fire an acid splash at this guy and hit him like in the chest, and he's like ah, ah as his chest starts burning. Uh, he's still standing, but he's he did not appreciate that, yeah. and uh, so he's hurt. Okay, um, Spider Man's move. So hold on. Um, okay, Spider Man is going to take a five-foot step back. So he's actually, like, right next to Reinhardt. So we'll say we're like this now. 
Uh, and he is going to entangle the Kuthmarin. So it can't move. Let's see. Where's my webbing? Where's my webbing? Web capture. Uh, 23. Uh, it hits. So Spider-Man shoots uh, a bunch of webbing on the creature, and it it ties up its body. It's like, and it falls over, and it's stuck. Oh my god! You just set me up for 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 a one hit, a one turn kill. No, no, no TK. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so oh. uh, Sp Spider Man has tied it up, so that's all he can do. Um, what? Who's next? Um, it's your move. Go ahead. Awesome. Adapted. So he takes he takes his uh, flat footed AC, right? Uh, yeah. Which means everything is sneak attack damage with bleed. Okay. Ooh, alrighty. Uh, I get two attacks. Okay, go ahead. Um, calculator. First attack is a 26. Uh, hits. Um, second attack is going to be... 21. Uh, both hit. Uh, roll a d100 twice. First one is a 66. Okay, good. Second is a 68. Okay, so it, this creature will take bleed twice. Um, which means now I get to roll... How many die six? Seven, eight, nine die six. Okay. I wish I only have eight. Okay. Uh, the first attack is 33 damage. Okay. Hold up, I forgot. No. I've got all sorts of special things going on right now. Cool. Uh, so the second attack is uh, 41 damage. 41 damage. Okay, describe exactly how you're stabbing this thing. Uh, well, I'm just kind of, uh, the first one's more of a, a quick jab, pull back, and go back for the second attack, and then I, uh, drive it into his chest. Okay, um, it's, uh, you, you jab it quickly, and then you come down and stab it in the chest, and blood erupts out of its chest, um, lightly, it's, lightly it takes splat- takes 14 bleed damage, by the way. Uh, it does bleed out. Uh, this this horrible acid, smelly blood rupts out of it. You just quickly dodge away from it. It howls in pain, and it suddenly starts stops moving. And then I um, I spend a point of mythic power. Okay. Um, am I less than thirty feet away from this one? Um, no. You are right next to it, so it's like um. Hang on a second. Do the actual calculations here real quick. Because you're more or less, you're like right here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's like in the corner. So he's like 35. So 30 feet? He's 35 Just feet away. 30, 35? Yeah. Is yeah. this one closer? Uh, That should be. Hang on. Or did I say you were, you were like here? Uh, 
5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 30. He's exactly 30 feet away. All right. I'm going to use point of mythic power in order to hit that guy once. Okay. Um, how does this work? How are you doing this? Uh, I spent a point of mythic power, and um, any target up to 30 feet away, I can hit with whatever weapon I am currently equipped with without so moving. It's like, it's like, but it's like you're teleporting, right? It's basically like a quick teleport. Um, they're considered flat-footed for the attack, and then I return back to my, my original position. Okay, so you, like, Nightcrawler, bamf out, and suddenly bamf over here and, like, slice the dude, and then bamf back. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Roll your attack. I think that's going to be a 26. Give me a second. That's 26. 26 hits. All right. Um, at count the sneak attack. So there's the base damage. Eight plus three, four, five, six, seven. Um, cool. He takes uh, 39 damage to the back. Jesus Christ! Okay, um... <laughs> and uh, he takes 7 bleed damage, too. Like it matters. <laughs> the dead. Okay, so you, you bamf over there, slice his throat, blood erupts out of him like a Quentin Tarantino movie. He's like, ah! <laughs> He rubs him and falls over dead, stock still, Damn. bleeding out. Damn! <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Man, Logan would love you. Kids, I can do that five times a day. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Um, so that's your move. And uh, that was uh, was pretty, pretty freaking awesome. Oh, uh, but I can still move if I want. Oh, it's the Kuth's turn, but the Kuth's dead, so never mind. No, I can still uh, move if I want. So I'm going to move to where I'm in, uh, I'm I've got one space between me and this guy. This guy right here? Okay. Yeah. All right, so you so you then bolt back into the room and are in melee with him. So just just know that you're in melee with him. There's a big space in between where he could, like, run back and forth. Um, all right. Uh, okay, it actually is the drow's turn now. And since you've so kindly um, run into... Uh, in, run up here, he's going to... This guy's going to attack you first. So, uh, you know. Attack of opportunity? Um, no, he's just going to attack you. He's going to make his actual attack. Um, he has to move into my my space, though, right? Doesn't that incur attack? Buffy? You're you're he's right. You're you're within five feet of him, so it's like he's actually. How far is your movement? Thirty five. I only yeah. wanted to move thirty, so that I yeah, would, I you're... still had five feet between me and him. Uh, okay, fine. He moves five feet forward and attacks. So, all right. Uh, what's your AC? My AC is, uh, hold up, I gotta scroll. Uh, 22. I think I'm gonna hit you. Except that I don't. Uh, he, he, he draws his, he draws his rapier and, 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 and uh, swipes at you. And you, you, you clash blades with your own rapier and like, aha! You start swashbuckling him. And he ain't got shit. Uh, the other guys have crossbows and they're gonna use them. Uh... So, you're in the room, you're in the room, so I've got two choices. Uh, okay. They're both going to target you, Alex, because we haven't killed you in a while. So, uh, oh, yay. So, it, they're going to fire... not a D&D battle unless I'm dead. They're, they're going to fire crossbow bolts at you. Uh, so I'm going to try to avoid having that happen. Okay. Uh... You have uh, 11 AC. I don't need you turning into the next porter. Uh, he, already, he already is the next porter. What are you talking about? I, don't need, I, I need him to learn so that he can understand that um, it's bad to be porter. Okay, so this guy, um, he hits you with a crossbow. This guy, um, he crits you with a crossbow. So they, yeah, they both, both crossbow bolts land. Uh, you have 52 hit points, so... Um... I gotta kill someone, Davis. I mean, you know, I like someone. Someone. Someone's got. I. 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 I am thirsty. I need to drink the blood of my players. You know, clearly. Oh, I'm gonna so, drink the blood of somebody. Five. 
Uh, okay, uh, you take 15 damage, so... So... All right, uh, Zach Noy, you are now at 37. So you've been hit twice with a crossbow belt. That second crossbow really hurt. And you're like, oh, <laughs> shit! Um, and finally, last but not least, Reinhardt, it is your move. And remember, you uh, and he... Spider-Man are like right next yeah. to each other. You're actually, that's the person you're supposed to be at. So. <laughs> All right. Um... How far am I from the closest guy I can hit? The closest guy you can hit is this guy. Yeah, how far away is that? I have to move everybody. The move everybody. 20, 20. Oh, well, probably about. Um, just give me a rough estimate. Okay. Would I be able to Five, move up to him and ten, hit him? I'm counting. Hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25 feet. You're 25 feet away from him. Oh, your speed's reduced okay. by your armor, isn't it? Mm. No. No. Uh, he's he's Reinhardt from Overwatch. He has a rocket in his back. He can literally launch himself anywhere, and actually, he goes like he goes sixty feet when he does that. Yeah. So. You two are the only normal D and D characters. We're superheroes. Because the Dungeon Master is an yeah. asshole. Hey, I just uh, I just off two of your guys, so I'm pretty. I feel pretty. Uh, as you as you should. Is you should. is if I were to charge, would I would any of them be in the way? Um, you could. I mean, let me see. So, like the the bad guy's here, and he's like here. So, if you move right, you can actually slam him against the wall, and you'll be fine. Yeah, I'm more concerned about him. hitting. You're not gonna. Hit I'm him. more concerned about hang. Okay. Yeah, you're not gonna hit him. All right then. Because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna house rule that like, Luxenius is here. This guy's here. So as long as you just hug the okay, wall, then. you're fine. Yeah, I'll move in position and charge him. Okay. Um, right. for sake of just sake of my sanity, I'm just gonna get rid of this guy and put you here, and then we're gonna do this. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So first. Um, go ahead and make your attack. All right. Roll 14. Uh, 14 um, does not hit. So okay. you're like, yeah! And you slam into the wall. He just ducks out of the way. And you're fine, but the hole has a nice Reinhardt shaped impression in it. Um, yeah. So they need, some, they need some modern art in here, so that's fine. Uh, that's about how all the previous interactions have gone. Pretty much, pretty much. I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Okay. Um, Zakoin, your Zakoin, whatever your name is, uh, it's your turn to once again. And you have been shot. Have. Yes. Um. Okay. Okay, so these two, these two guys here, this one, mm -hmm. and this one. Yes. Are, where are they in relation to me? Okay, because I had to move everybody around because I'm. Uh, you're actually like here, and they're over there, and like you're actually far away from each other because these are the actual squares. So like he's like ten feet away from like ten or fifteen. Yeah, he's about like fifteen feet away from you, and yeah, they're both about fifteen feet away from you, but just in different directions. So. Okay. Um. Okay, Eddie, I'm just going to say there's two ways we could handle this. Okay. We could either use the board as it is relative to uh, what the size is and just scale it up in our head. Or That's we what... can scale the size of the picture up to match the squares on the on the screen. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying theater of the mind, scale it in our heads. So. Okay. So, so that way... But no, we no, I, I, I just... need, we, we, need, we need to do that at some point in time. That was like... Um... Uh, Digby and I talked about that. I just haven't done it. I've been lazy. So, the way I, uh, I was explaining it before, and it's improve, uh, in proof of concept, it works. 
you can just expand the actual map background to be huge uh, and just have parts of it hanging over the edge that we can't reach and just have multiple maps set up that are just each section individual so that way he has access to one uh, hiding stuff on different layers easily mm -hmm. and two it would be more perspective not just theater of the mind yeah, yeah. that would work it's just too. that there are a lot of maps that's the biggest reason it's a lot yeah. of maps oh yeah 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 there's a lot of maps and i just haven't like yeah i would have to basically make like a map for like every room or something like that. so that's why i haven't i haven't done that. Mm. but it's like no it's a good idea might be better if I just like built the maps, but I figured since I've got them in the book, I'll just like post them here. But uh, yeah, I, I could do. I could have done. I could have done more work here. Anyway, um, what are you gonna do, Zach Wayne? Um, I will do. I will use Firebolt. Okay. On who? Um. Okay. That's one by ten. Five. Okay, I rolled a six. Um, it was one. It's one die ten fire damage. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying. Does this one even work with the um, a ranged touch a touch attack? No. Uh, yes, because it is a ranged spell attack. It does count as a ranged touch attack. Okay, so, so what you roll again? His... Well, because it's got a reflex save for half though. Firebolt. Yeah. <laughs> You release a powerful bolt of fire energy that deals 1 die 6 points of fire damage per caster level, maximum 25 die 6 to each creature within the area. The bolt begins at your fingertips. Uh, the fire bolt set of fire to cause muscles and damages objects in its path. can melt metal uh, with a low melting point, such as lead, gold, copper, silver, and bronze. Oh, and then... shit. No, he doesn't roll a, a, an attack. Every Everyone within its line rolls a save. Yeah, so this guy's got to roll a reflex save. Um, and what the save would be 10 plus, um, his charisma mod at the level of the spell, right? So that would be like 19 plus whatever his charisma is. Uh, so your save is like 23. Wait, this is a ninth level spell. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, let me, hold on. He's a 13th level, uh, sorcerer. He shouldn't be open to ninth level spells yet. Um... Let's see. Let me take a look, because I made this. Um, yeah, you actually can't do that. You have to do a... You be open your, max level is, your, your max level is 6th level. So you would, not be able spells, to, yeah. you would not be able to do a fireball. Okay, hang on. Unless fire, are you saying fireball or firebolt? Firebolt. Oh. And you said you built this Eddie? Yes. But I didn't I didn't give I didn't give him his spells. I told him to pick his own spells. Oh okay. Well, I figured I figured he should choose his own level. spells. Uh yeah, like they're yeah, the max up is, is six. He has four six level spells. Uh yeah, per day. Um but he only knows two. He, he can know four. He can know four. I don't give a shit. I'm done. That's why I don't play spellcasters. Casters are much more difficult to learn. It's true. Okay, but what are you going to use instead? Um... Spray, I guess. What? What is that? 
Prismatic Spray? Prismatic Spray. Prismatic Spray. Is it? We're using Pack. That's a seventh level spell. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one one too high. You got at least got to be sixth level, man. Because yeah, that's like a I think I, I can't remember if that's like a like a that, that I think it's an eighth level spell in Pathfinder. So I'm like, what? Yeah. You did pick your spells, didn't you, Alex? Sure, I did. Sounds like you're sure lying to me. That, that sounds like he's very much so. Sounds lying. like a like a goddamn lie. Sure, I did. I, to be fair, well, I'd probably do the same thing if I were playing a spell. That's why I don't play spellcasters. That's why I don't do that. I just hit things. It's easy. There's a there's a lot more uh, management for your character as a spellcaster. Yeah, that's why I told you. That's why I want you to pick your spells because this is going to craft your character the way you want. Okay, as a spellcaster, you can cast anti magic field. These these are your six level spells if you want to cast six level. You can cast Anti-Magic Field, Dispel Magic, Globe of Invulnerability, Guard and Wards, Repulsion, Acid Fog, Planar Binding, Summon Monster um, 6, Wall of Iron, Analyze Dwomer, Legend Lore, um, True Seeing, Gaze Quest, Heroism Greater, Mass Suggestion, Symbol of Persuasion, Big Beast Forceful Hand, Chain Lightning, Contingency, Udalux Freezing Sphere, Mislead, Tournament Image, Programmed Image, Shadow Walk, Veil, Circle of Death, Create Undead, Eye Bite, Symbol of Fear, Undeath to Death, Bear, Bear's Endurance Mass, Bull Strength Mass, Cat's Grace Mass, Control Water, Disintegrate, Eagle Splendor Mass, Flesh to Stone, Fox's Cunning Mass, Morden Cannon's Lubric um, Lucubration, Move Earth, Owl's Wisdom Mass, Stone to Flesh, or Tensor's Transformation. What are you going to do? Okay. Just do acid fog then. Acid fog, okay. Who and you're, you're specifically doing it on the guy in the corner. Okay. Acid fog. Okay. All right. Medium hundred foot fog spreads a twenty foot radius. Uh, acid fog creates a billowing mass of misty vapor similar to the produce of solid fog spell. In addition to slowing the creature down and obscuring sight, the spell's vapors are highly acidic. Each round on your turn, starting when you cast the spell, fog deals two dice six points of acid damage on each creature and object within it. So we're going to say you make a nice big cloud of acid yaw, 20 feet wide around this guy. And he takes two dice six damage, so roll two dice six. Okay, give me that. Mm. You create a big cloud of acid around the guy. The two dice six, right? Two dice six. Eight. Eight. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh. Uh. Well, it's technically alive. Um, all right, so you cast this acid cloud on the guy that gets surrounded by acid. He starts howling in pain as it starts touching his skin. And his face, and his and face and his starts, flesh starts melting, melting, and suddenly, and I, suddenly can I can hear myself. Why is that? Why is that? Sorry. You turn your fucking sound on. Fucking sound on. Sorry. Turn your sound off. Turn your sound off. God damn it. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right. You create this big cloud of acid and starts surrounding the guy. He starts howling his pain as it starts touching his skin. And then as right before he's in sheath and, and, and gas, you start hearing him scream as his face starts melting off like the SS guy from Indiana Jones. He's like, ah! Ah! His blood and flesh move and start billowing and falling all over the floor. And you hear a sickening thud as he slams across the ground. So he's, he's not moving, but he's convulsing. So that's fun. Uh, so good job. You've melted a, a sentient being. Uh, congratulations. Um, uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like, ew, nasty. Uh, and anime lady yelped. Spider-Man. 
He's going to go out into the room and position himself here. And he's going to shoot a web bullet at this drow dude's face. He shoots a web bullet. 12 uh, plus 19, I think. So, uh, 12 plus 19. Yeah, um, that hits. Because they've got not a high AC. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I hit. Okay, uh, and how much damage do I do? Whilst I use these things. Eight damage. All right. Um, okay. Spider-Man shoots a web bullet at uh, this guy. And hits him in the face. Boom! Oh, and he falls over and he's knocked unconscious. And so he's out cold. So. And that's Spider-Man's move. Um, and it is Devden's turn. turn. Yes, it is your turn. Mm. This guy's standing. Um, this guy's a pile of goo on the ground. This guy's unconscious. This guy's standing. That guy's standing. This guy's unconscious. This guy is a pile of goo on the ground. This guy? Yeah, he, he's still standing my, and freaked out. I'm going to make my two attacks against him. You may make your two attacks against him. Do, 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 do. Go to my stats. Ooh, a really high number. First attack is a 36. Um, That hits. That is not the right die for the second attack. Uh, second attack's a crit fail. Um, do your damage for your first attack first. Okay, is he flat-footed? Uh, he's not flat-footed. Is he, is he considered... Eh, hold, on, hold on, Okay, so... Is he against the wall? Uh, actually, his position on the map is like, Reinhardt's here next to him. You're here. So he is against the wall. So that like you get sneak attack if he's someone's against the wall, right? Yeah, I, I okay. still I, I I I counted as flanking. So I'm gonna move up to where I'm flanking him and okay. against the wall. All right. And um, know that you're flanking him. <laughs> yes. So that is uh. Seven. That gets up to three. Seven. That's ten. So that is uh thirty-one damage and plus seven bleed. Okay, uh he's dead. He's dead. So don't worry about your crit fail. How do you want to kill him? <laughs> I'm going to uh with my offhand, I'm going to shove it up against the wall. Okay. I'm going to drive my blade off this. through his chest. That's the correct answer. All right, repeat that one more time. I'm going to shove him up against the wall with my offhand, and then shove my blade up his chest from his stomach. Okay. And up mm -hmm. through his through his neck. Okay. As he lights on fire. He lights on. Uh, he lights on fire. My blade does fire damage. Okay, I was unaware of that. All right, so you stab and 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 cut cut in a, a streaky motion upward, and it slices through his body. And he howls in pain. Ah! And cuts right through him, and he bursts on fire and slumps to the ground, bleeding and burning. Uh, and in the second round of I taste um, the blood on my blade. Um, spider. You can't really tell through the mask, but it looks like the big white eyes of Spider-Man are like wider, and you looking at the blade. Uh, meanwhile, uh, this gentleman over here, um, the, the mist clears, and you see a bleached elven skeleton on the ground, uh, as all the flesh has been melted off of his body. Uh, yes. and Spider-Man's like, um, okay, um, great, um, n n nobody kill my guy over there, let's just get out of here, please, um, you know. So just, Is, are we out of combat? Where you are out of combat. <laughs> Uh, I walk over to the unconscious guy and I stab him in the no, skull. You with my sword. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you yes, don't. No, you yes, do not. I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. Roll initiative then. Why wouldn't I do that? Because Spider Man told you not to. Roll initiative. Is he rolling against all of us or just against Spider Man? Just, just the two of us. Okay. Uh, 27. 
you win initiative, but you hear Spider-Man call it. Well, wait a minute! And you kill him. I actually... I pause with my blade at his throat. Why? Just don't kill him. Why? He's, there's no reason to. He's already unconscious. Let's just get out of here. They tried to kill us, and you let him live? It doesn't matter. Leave him alone. Fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You confuse me, spandex. Let's just get out of here, all right? Okay. Who's taking point? Wipe the blood from my blade with my uh, thumb and uh, I'll, finger. I'll take and point this time. Okay. Reinhardt, you start take walking. Blood on my finger. You, you start walking out, wondering why why people can't just be mature. Why why do I keep on every you know on Earth and in this world? I always wind up with crazy people. Uh, so and now yeah, you are all outside, and you are here. So if I can find where's the new people? Here's the new persons. Okay. You're here at S12, and this is really important to know, you are all on the same space, just so we're clear. Uh, you are all here. Okay. But, okay. If anybody goes away from S12, I need to know where exactly you're going. Did you uh, stop your recording recently? No, I didn't. I need to do that right now. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I should probably just do that now. Gives me time to like load everybody up. Um, nice. It's a nice little bit of tense role playing there, you know, just like like Spider-Man's like, "Don't kill this guy, please." And then like the evil dudes like, "Why?" 